At the 2023 Pure Athletics Sprint Elite Meet, we saw something truly crazy from one of the world's greatest sprinters. Now, before we get into this race, I want to give you guys an idea of what we're looking at here. So far in 2023, the women's world lead in the 100 meters currently stands with Shakari Richardson, which stands at 10.76. For this race, Shakari achieved this in Doha, Qatar, against none other than Sharika Jackson, and with a very solid final 50 meters, she put together a very impressive 100 meter dash to take down this very elite field. This 10.76 was very solid. At this point in the season, with this kind of race, Shakari is certainly putting together the kind of season that could not only bring her a national championship, but potentially land her on the world championship podium. However, back to the Pure Athletic Sprint Meet in Claremont, Florida, we saw none other than Marie Jose Talou from the Ivory Coast run a 10.78 with the exact same wind speed of Shakari Richardson. This performance was amazing. She has been around for more than a decade at the top of the world rankings and sprinting, and yet with an early season 100 meter dash, she is still capable of putting together a 10.78 which currently is number two in the world for 2023. Throughout her career, she has won two world championship silver medals, she's won a world indoor silver, she's won a world championship bronze, and she's also placed in the top eight in four separate Olympic finals. Tolu has been around for so long, running so fast, that it's honestly shocking that she doesn't have one single gold medal to her resume. However, when you're competing against the likes of Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hira, and Sharika Jackson, it's pretty challenging to find yourself in the number one position in a global final. Since 2016, Tolu has put together many sub-11 second 100 meter dashes. In fact, there's only been one year since 2016 when she hasn't broken 11 seconds, and that was the year 2020, when the pandemic clearly affected the entire world. It's also important to mention that for the previous eight years, she has consistently been running under the 10.9 second barrier, and specifically since 2021, she's been under 10.8. With various sub 10.8 second clockings and consistent top five world rankings for the 100 meters, Tolu is unquestionably one of the most consistent and elite performing athletes in sprinting history. And with a 10.78 at this point in her season, I think she not only has a good chance to make it to the world championship finals, but to again win a world championship medal. And who knows, if she can put together the right race at the right time, there is a chance that she could take down the world's best, including Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson Hira, Shakari Richardson, and many more athletes that will ultimately be in the world finals. What really impressed me about this race is her final 50 meters. It's not the kind of top end speed that we haven't seen before, because she definitely didn't have the closing speed of Elaine Thompson Hira in 2021. But what this race shows is a very smooth and solid 100 meters. And I firmly believe that if she can put together a race like this with a few more months of racing, she might be able to find herself under 10.7. With a personal record of 10.72 seconds, which she ran in last year's Diamond League Monaco meeting, she certainly put together a very good race. And I think at this point in the season, she is right where she needs to be. She looks strong, she looks smooth, and she certainly has more racing ahead of her. At 34 years of age, she is just starting to enter the twilight years of her career. However, when you take a look back to last season and see what Shelly Ann Fraser Price did at 35 years of age, it's difficult to argue against the fact that many athletes can run very fast, very consistently after they turn 30 or even 35. With the world lead currently standing with Shakari Richardson, she certainly finds herself in a very difficult position as many will be gunning for her for the next few months. And right behind Richardson right now is Marie Jose Toulou, who certainly looks very, very fit in the 100 meters. And now I want to pass this important question off to you. How fast do you think Tolu will run in 2023? Will we see consistent improvements? Will we see a world championship medal? And how will she fare against the world's fastest athletes, including the very difficult to beat Jamaican sprinters in the world final? Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, until next time.